Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Plays Transport Fever and we are looking once again at Blythe, a city which we have lovingly connected in the previous episode. And we have connected that city with another town which is called Ghoul. See? Ghoul. G-O-O-L-E. So not Google, but Ghoul. Right. Uh, on an update, guys, I am back from vacation, so I will be recording some more episodes shortly, but I also have one sad announcement. Uh, right now, you are walk looking at the last footage of this series uh, of Transport Fever, and I'm talking Transport Fever, Europe, River Delta, this map with this mod selection. Rest assured, I will continue to post transport fever i just don't know if i will be starting a new game or i will be uh continuing my old usa save which i left a long time ago the problem reason why i'm having is i used uh, a mod called roads which is kind of here and if i connected anything here or any other road that i've used from the mod uh, my game would crash and I would completely be unable. I tried enabling, re-enabling, disabling the mod and whatnot, and for the life of me I couldn't fix it. Since I used a lot of these roads, that means that I would be basically um, having the risk of crashing my game whenever I tried for a couple of times. And that has already... This is the fifth time I'm trying to record this episode, because I was trying to do faff around a little bit around Cockermouth and stuff. So, sorry guys, I will be wrapping up this episode, uh, but please do tell me what would you like to see? Uh, I'm kind of thinking that maybe you would like to see some ride-alongs. If you would like to see some ride-alongs, I might be inclined to let it be, some maybe views or something additional. I mean, this game really is beautiful and it provides a lot of incredible views. So I'm all the more sad to let it go because I was using, I was stupid enough to use mods. And for some sentimental values, let's watch a little bit of Dakota flying out on one of it, what it will be, one of its last missions. I think I'm gonna post this as a screenshot for the episode. Episode is going to the history, so will this uh, save, I'm afraid. I will remove all the mods and my future... Uh, apart from the maps, my future games will be without mods. I don't want this to happen ever again, so yeah, sorry guys. Uh, in other news, I have just, like I said, I've recently come from vacation, there has been a few updates, some people have updated their mods, and I will continue to post naval action, I will continue to post transport fever, and I will continue to post uh, um, Kerbal Space Program, of course, videos. So, show goes on as continued, it's just that this particular save with this mod selection will be stopped. I will probably continue my USA playthrough because that one is unmodded so I'm eager to continue playing with that one and if you guys know um, any other maps that you might suggest or would you suggest that I start another map please let me know in the comments and do vote I'm gonna be putting up a card with a vote if you would like me to continue my old USA save or you would like me to start a brand new unmodded campaign but it will also be USA because now I have seen the European vehicles and they're quite nice and fun but I kind of think it would be time for some USA you know USA vehicles and as we watch this beautiful Dakota flying over things we also and this is uh, we're flying over Cockermouth now we will be preparing to land uh, at Brearley because this is the line that goes between Walton, uh, Meltham and Brearley. All of my cities have beautifully developed. Uh, I have created some extremely complex, you know, routes, but um, 
and some big queues with the ships apparently as far as I can see that was a not part of the plan to be perfectly honest well what can you do I like the fact that uh, this uh, this map is particularly hilly and that um, you could do a lot of good stuff with it and uh, I can tell you as much I really enjoyed playing this one I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, watching this map and I will for sure try to make some interesting USA map if I find it or I'll just continue with my regular save that I had over there but please do vote comment and let me know what you think I'm gonna count the votes uh, all the votes that come say until Friday or maybe during the weekend will go into accounting then later on I will probably be dismissing the save and uh, going with whatever comments you guys come up you guys come up with once again scaring the crap out of our passengers on our DC3 as we come in for the landing yep scraping the belly there we go coming in a beautiful hero shot I figured before I completely delete and dump this save to have a couple of uh, more of ride-alongs because I mean the map is so scenic it would be a shame not to enjoy on a couple of ride-alongs like this for one for example So this episode will be a little bit more devoid, devoted to ride-alongs rather than upgrades. However, we can still maybe replace these vehicles just so that it doesn't annoy the hell out of me. Replacement. You replace yourself with this bus and you replace now. Yes, thank you very much. Right, that ride-along aside, let's see if we can go on a fuel ride-along. There is one of our Susans. It's a diesel. And it goes under as we are passing this beautiful rail yard. It goes on to deliver a bunch of fuel to the Chipping Sudbury and then onwards to... well, I've forgotten where. Okay, a little bit of performance stutter there. A couple of screenshot materials. Hell yeah! Ain't this a pretty sight? Says he and the train goes into the tunnel. <laughs> Go figure. I really wanted to come to the TGV, or TGV uh, a high speed rail, but I don't see that happening. Uh, maybe if I just continue to ride out for ride alongs, I'll plop one in and I have 3.15 billion, so I don't care about the cost or speed. I might build a special track just to have it in the future episodes, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, really in heavily inclined against future uh, cargo network development. So I might be putting just another passenger line and high express one uh, for that matter. Do let me know what you think. Shall we take a per view from the train's perspective? Let's look from the camera angle. See how it goes. I don't remember if we have ridden this train. We have ridden the main line, but we haven't ridden the, you know, the cargo line that supplies fuel. And I have a feeling that might be also for a scenic route. It's going 120-ish kilometers an hour so which is a fine delivery speed if you ask me 
We'll see how it goes. With a little occasional stutters here and there, this is a rough turn which we have to go through. And I think this is a track where we start separating off after this bridge for the Chipping Sobery. Epilepsy warning. Righto, here we take the right. And we separate from the main line. Oh, hi, here is another food train. Yet another diesel. I, you know, guys, it's a little bit frustrating for me, and uh, I'm sorry if it's uh, upsetting for you that I'm killing off the save. It's... Um, I really enjoy playing it, but at this point, I mean, it's a ticking time bomb. Every modification I make to the roads is just a no-no. So, basically, I'm thinking... Uh, better off to just continue and with something new, Scott free and just enjoy rather than just uh, yeah. It happens when you play with mods, and sadly I didn't find a way how to disable the mod update. So if uh, the owner of the mod deletes it and splits it, well my save will be messed up. So that's that. We are boldly continuing towards our cargo station at Chipping Sodbury. I think it might be a more interesting shot if I if I take this view. Oh yes, look at that. And remember, we are just passing through here. We are not stopping here. I think I, I should have a bumper stickers. We break for nobody. Maybe for donuts. I could use a donut. Oh, this with container is just one big mess. Once again, going through the bridge. Autosave, 1980. What do we have today? Graf Zeppelin, uh, passenger ships. Good for me, I ain't using those. Oh well. Passenger wagon. What can you do? Beautiful view. Do we have any more bridges over there? No, it's now mostly tunnels. So let's go back to the train view. I'm glad that they have fixed uh, terrain clipping because it really shows except for the trees when you're passing a the tree then you have a terrain clipping issue still. Yeah well there's that. Like I said today is uh, ride alongs galore. So if you want ride-alongs, you have come to the right place. And a pink entrance. Because we can, apparently. Okay, 
well, that is some rendering issues right there. We are going for Walton Thames Holt. And I'm thinking once again it would be a better choice if I take the scenic view of the train. Like here showing off the mountain passes. And there's a Mallard. The last steam locomotive available. I was thinking of retiring it but you know what? Of course I should replace Mallard with the TGV. Of course it won't be able to ever reach its maximum speed, but I think that's a good candidate because we want a high speed line going over there. I'm thinking I might do that actually. Oh, there's another Susan. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Lots of fuel waiting there. I just want to zoom in enough so it doesn't show that much. April, and from what I've read on the forums, the TGV is going from 18, 1781. Uh, 1981. So, yeah, it seems that I would be able to, you know, plop one for you guys. I don't know if it would make sense to have them on the main line, though. Probably not. But it would be fast. Would be cool to see it developing its all fast potential. Okay, and our train is going onwards to its final stop. Yeah, the Mallard will be due for the replacement in the... Okay, so let me just see what would be the line. Chipping Sudbury via Brearley to Oakham. That would be a very curvy line. I'm actually almost more inclined to take the regular line and that one is being run by these fellas but come on I have an insurmountable amount of cash so I might be able to run it you know after all you know what the um, you know what um, well the owner Richard Br Sir Richard Branson the owner of Virgin Atlantic, Galactic and all that said how to become a millionaire well invest one billion dollars into an airline so yeah I will probably invest one billion uh, dollars into the ra rail line because I thought it will be fun I think it will be fun right where is our I want to see our Concorde once again you are running win what air and vehicles we have concord let's follow it that's also one of the cooler guys there you go where you are at so hold on you are going to walton thames okay so we have just ascended Will we hear a sonic boom? It should be around 1000 kilometers an hour. <laughs> we don't have a chance to go that fast. Go figure. I was really hoping for, uh, you know, Sonic Boom or something. That would have been mighty cool. 
And we're already descending. So Concord is one of those things that we have lovingly built and I think it would be an awesome thing to have. So I figured one of them, you know. I'm also curious, is that line profitable? Let's see from my profitability chart. Where is the profitability lines? Vehicles, air. No, it's losing me 2.47 million, yes, because it doesn't have too many passengers. Well, you know, it's to be expected. But still, you cannot say it's not cool. Look at this fella. Look at this landing. The gear is down, the nose is also down. For those of you who didn't know, Concorde had a movable nose. So Concorde could lower the nose while taking off and landing because it had such a long-ish nose. Okay, coming in for the landing. On to our modern airport and there we go. Alright, I don't want this dilly-dallying for too long. Let's put some afterburners. And I do want to come to the in 1981 so I can replace my trains with the TGV. Train 16 has reached ah the Mallard, yes. Well, it's to be expected. I may be replacing all of my uh, passenger trains with the TGV, but uh, I don't know. I don't feel, feel that the TGV will be able to realize its full potential on a train on a track that's not straight. So that's the thing. Otherwise, I'd replace the Mallard with something more, you know, peachy. Let's see. We might be slipping more, some more exotic vehicles, but you know that's life. What can you do? Beep, beep and is it the TGV yes it is and we have Einheinswagen 4 right so pause and actually I'm gonna go with this thing like here so okay not pause pause you the main line trains no this is the main line hold on this one is the Oakham to Walton Thames so this fleet will need to be replaced this three, mal three mallards with the regular 164 meters you guys will be replaced by this guy hold on this guy with some proper coaches Einheitswagen which can go 200 kilometers an hour 153 179 that's one too long ish Right, and we say all replace now. 46 million, yes. Right. And uh, the second one is the main line. Vehicles, we have, uh, what was it? Four, we have eight trains in total, which are fairly recent, nine years. So they're not overdue for the replacement, however, and I'm really eager to see this. Let's go with TGV short, TGV long. That's how many passengers? 54 to 83. No, TGV 207 and the short is 130. I think 130 is okay. Replace now. 90 million only. Pish posh. That's nothing. So we will actually observe this guy as it replaces and this guy we will keep our eyes peeled on. So let's play.
Okay, waiting for a free path. Path has been freed and it's time for a much overdue replacement of the vehicles. Now let's see what it looks like. There we go! Could not connect all stations, why not? Electricity problems? Hmm, interesting. Train 29, no path, electric. What no path, electric? Where is no electric path, please? Did I, by accident, forget somewhere to put electricity? A slight detraction. Oh yes, I forgot here. Right. Fixing. You see, sometimes even the... I was enjoying this being the steam line for a little bit too long. Okay, I think that should resolve the problem. The main line. Could not connect all stations. I have no idea what is he talking about. We'll see what it says. Now, for the time being, let's take some pictures. Oh yeah, look at it. Bzing! Now that's fast. 174 kilometers an hour. I'm just gonna keep this somewhere up. Could not connect all stations. I have no idea why it says could not connect all stations, but we'll see. Wow, shit, that's fast. Oh, there's an old steamer. The old and the new. Now it's new and the new. That's called modern times, ladies and gentlemen. It only allows for 72 passengers, but it's much faster, so I'm hoping it would go faster and distribute, you know, passengers faster. So we'll see. Look of progress.
This will be a beautiful screenshot. Oh yes, look at it. Look at that, how it's staring through the landscape. 188, I really want to see the top speed which it reaches, 192. Seventy two passengers only, but traveling at incredible speeds. One ninety two still didn't beat the old machine there, but well, you know. A vehicles reporting problems. Okay, so one of the trains has stumbled. Let's see, train nineteen. You and you are supposed to go where? The main line to Cockermouth. No path electric. Okay, let's electrify you. Hold on. Electrification. Where? This little lot? And that was all there was to it? Oh boy. I wish I knew. Let's continue. What would be the view from here? Oh, that's an old train. 154, 159. Some big turns ahead. Yeah, I think uh, coming into the Cockermouth will be an interesting sight. Oops, stroboscopy warning. 120 bridge, we are stopping soon ish. Probably a lot of people waiting here. Sadly, not place for everybody. This is first class service, ladies and gentlemen. The past and the present. Yeah, Cockermouth is always a beautiful sight. And it's beginning to stutter heavily. It's always when I'm close to the city, you know. So now I think it will go much faster when we're going to melt him. See? 143 and when we come to the straight section it should be picking up speed. Jump! Okay, here our uh, train would be catching some nice air time. Come on, over 200, over 200. Yes! And we're coming up on Meltham. Oh, and Dakota is taking off. Always beautiful sight when you're at Meltham. Old but good bridge. Right. Yeah. 
I'm trying to find a good angle here. Oh, there was another train that took a long time to upgrade, so... You see, the TGV has traveled all the halfway of the map while these guys are still going their daily routines. Oh, that's interesting. I think this would be a screenshot for the episode. Yes, oh yes. The look of progress. So many beautiful screenshots for this episode, sadly. I really feel sad that this uh, playthrough is ending. What can you do? I think we're gonna ride this guy all the way to Winchcombe, after which I'll bid you farewell. And of course, like if you like. Let me know what you want to see more from the Transport Fever. And I'll be seeing all of you in the future episodes, of course. And we just come in as our, I think it's Boeing is taking off. Yeah, I'm trying just to find a good angle. And there's one of our ship for this food distribution. Our airport being on the upside. And after this, and our Concorde is touching down. Oh yes, oh yes. Screenshot materials all the way. As we are coming into the Winchcomb. Well, once again, thank you very much guys for watching, like if you like, let me know what you want to see onwards, and I guess, probably for the final time, thank you very much for watching, this is Gromfork signing off from this series of Transport Fever.